I'm a young Chinese feminism activist in China. Um, we have uh, launched a lot of art performance in China. It's more like the directly action, uh, such as the Occupy's men's room. We need more space for women's room. Another is about the bloody bread. Uh, we copy this action from Turkey. Uh, go against the, the uh, domestic violence. When I was in college, I started to access the gender equality and LGBTI community. Um, I started to think about how to change the society, make the society become better. Uh, yes, we can do some public education on the street, tell them what is LGBT and what is gender equality, but I also want to see some change in the structure, in the law. So I start to focus, focus on the policy making. So we do this, this action not just uh, to, how to say it, uh, let people pay more attention on it. We also need some uh, social change, especially on the lawmaking. We feel very Excited, excited just because we have our action and then we see some social change. The, the police start to knock the door and take me and my girlfriend away. And my girlfriend got released and I got detained with other four sisters. Um, at the start, I, I feel very confused about the whole thing. <laughs> Before I got detained, I have think about maybe I I'm going to be detained someday. <laughs> it's just our in my imagination, and I I learned some experience from other people. They got detained, so they tell me if they beat you, you need to fight fight against. So when I was in the detention uh, before on the way to detention center, I tell other sisters, it might be thirty seven days. Uh, just keep silence, <laughs> don't say any word, uh, and you will get re released. But actually, when I was in the detention center, I'm very worried about my situation. Yeah, could they threaten me? Uh, I I just I I I was wrong. I was uh, going to be sentenced over five years. Uh, it's our, it's pretty too much for me. I think maybe, yeah, it's too much for me. I, I just. What what I done? What I have done? Just trying to anti sexual harassment. That's all. They insult my gender identity, uh, gender expression, and my sexual orientation. And this uh, the smoke in front of me and uh, push the smoke on my face. I think. Uh, they didn't beat me. Yeah, um, they are trying to keep distance with me. They they don't touch me. Maybe due to the a lot of pressure from uh, uh, internal and external. Um, but they insult my sexual orientation just because uh, they know Teresa is my girlfriend. If you got detained, what about your parents? Yeah. Uh, yes, I worried about my parents. Because they are old, they are labor worker in industries. So, but they, if they insulted my sexual orientation, it doesn't work. Yeah, that's it. Because I'm a lesbian. What's wrong? What's up?
Uh, my girlfriend told me a lot of information during the period. Uh, there's a lot of people, international and local, young family activists trying to help me. So the first reason might be what we done is about gender equality. It's our common and mainstream issue in China. The second might be uh, there's no enough evidence. It's not a crime. The feminism is not a crime. And the third might be there's a lot of internal and ex external pressure to the police. Um, maybe the local police they make a wrong decision. The high level police they don't want to take responsibility for this case. So maybe that's the reason why I can go abroad now. I think there must have some people to help me, but I don't think it will be a. It's like a wave in the world. <laughs> so especially for Hillary Clinton, after that I saw the. She made a in. Presentation in 1995, the World Women Conference. At that time, she said, "The so women's rights are human rights. Human rights are women rights, once and for all." So at that time, I think, "Wow, this this women very cool." Yeah, it was 1995 when I was maybe six year old. <laughs> So that's very uh, inspiration for me. So uh, I can have the uh, support from these people. I'm very honored. After March 7, there's more and more people in China. They started to know what is the feminist, what is the feminism, yeah, what we done. Uh, I thought there's a lot of uh, local how to say, it, local, local websites, local BBS, even though the, in the past they don't care about the feminists in China, but they start to talk about this issue. You know, there's a five girl got detained just because they are trying to do some action anti-sexual harassment. <laughs> I thought this, I saw this post, I feel very happy. And another good phenomenon is, in the past, if we talk some public issue, there's some public things happen. For example, there's our um, a woman beat it on the street. No one will help these women. But four years later, there's more and more passengers. They are trying to get involved in this anti this domestic violence case. They start to stop the abuser to abuse his wife. I feel very happy about this change in China. Yeah, that that is what I want to see in China. I can't give up. Uh, it's more like a part of my body. Uh, it's in the in my heart, in my mind. It's a lifestyle for me. Be a lesbian. Be a radical feminism lesbian. So, I, if I give up, if I stop doing something, it means I have to re-identify myself. So, the most important thing is what I do is right. What I do is good for the good for China, good for the social change. So I will keep doing it.